You're watching WMAR 2 News. Thanks for streaming this WMAR 2 News update. I'm Kelly Swoop. 60 days or less. That's when Marilyn Mosby and her legal team want her trial to begin. Mosby's legal team made the request in her virtual appearance and arraignment in federal court today. Mosby pled not guilty to all four charges she is facing. The judge overseeing the case has set a motions deadline for the 18th and a conference call for February 23rd. If convicted, Mosby could spend decades in prison. Well, the school bell is going to ring a little later in Anne Arundel County. The board approved the pushback start time last year. It'll go into effect next school year. High schools will start at 830. Middle school will start at 915, while elementary schools will start between 8 and 830. The American Academy of Pediatrics has recommended middle and high school start at 830 or later to give students the opportunity to get the amount of sleep they need. A man convicted of stabbing a woman to death in front of her son will spend the rest of his life in prison. This week, Michael Biscotti was sentenced life without parole in the stabbing in a home on Comet Street back in July of 2020. That's in the uh, Pleasant View Gardens area, just north of Little Italy. Biscotti killed 35-year-old Fresca Yarby. Charging documents from the 2020 case stated that Yarby's son was in the home when the attack happened and was the one who had to call 911. Baltimore County Police are looking for a man who's broken into several businesses. Take a look at this. We got some surveillance video of the man. Police say that he broke into the businesses between 3 and 5 in the morning on January 29th. He smashed his way into the businesses in Towson, Wilkins, and Parkville, stealing cash and sodas. If you know anything, call the number on your screen or always call Metro Crime Stoppers. They are offering a $2,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're talking about dipping back into the 20s. Uh, we're talking uh, starting off the day at 24 degrees, mix of sun and clouds, becoming mostly sunny as we head through the afternoon as temperatures try to rebound. But the Warm up is only into the 30s. We'll hit 33 here in Baltimore. Same for Annapolis near 30 in Elkton, upper 20s in Westminster and Parkton. So well below average. That's going to be the story of the weekend. Staying dry though through the seven day period. Temperatures getting back closer to seasonal by Monday, warming into the upper 40s, low 50s by the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories as well as breaking news. And for news and weather while you're out and about on the go, don't forget to download the WMER2 News app in your app store.